Today we are going to talk about how to edit audio in shortcut and trust me you don't want to miss this because audio is one of the most important elements in your video if it doesn't sound good chances are people won't watch it Hey there I'm Sanketha and welcome to Vertical Darts always remember when you edit your video make sure to pay attention to the audio too I have my video clip here. You can see the audio waveform which means the audio is currently attached to the video. The first thing I like to do is to put the audio on a separate audio track. To do that, right click on the clip and select detach audio. It will automatically create a new audio track and place the audio separately. Now play the video and check the audio peak meter. Today I'll show you how to create an auto resizing text box using After Effects. It's super useful, especially if you see red popping up. That means the audio volume is too high at that point. It's peaking and that's not good for the ears. Ideally your audio should peak in the yellow zone. I would recommend keeping it around negative 6 decibels. To lower the volume, you can use an audio filter. Click on filters, hit the plus sign. And if you select audio, you will see a list of audio filters. Let's try the gain volume filter. With this one, you can simply raise or lower the volume. That helps fix any picking issues. Auto resizing text box using After Effects is super useful, especially when working on lower thirds. Make sure to watch until the end as I'll also share some imp but we don't want to do that because usually we don't speak at a consistent volume some words are louder some are softer to bring all those levels closer together we will use a different filter let's remove the previous filter and add the limiter filter This one gives us more control over the audio levels. Now we can set a limit on how loud the audio can get. I'll set it around here. Then we will raise the quieter parts using input gain. Since we have set a ceiling, the audio won't peak anymore. I'll show you how to create an auto resizing text box using After Effects. It's super useful, especially when working on lower thirds. Make sure to watch until the end as I'll also share some important tips you need to know. Now the audio sounds nicely balanced, and this is the right way to edit your audio. This is super useful when editing interviews. If the one person is louder and the other is softer, the limiter helps balance their audio levels. If you are learning something new today, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Another thing I want to point out is to check for any breathing sounds or filler words like m mm or a ah in the audio. For example, I have a noticeable breath sound at the start of this clip. Let's remove it. Today I'll show you how to create add the gain volume filter move your playhead to the end of that sound then click the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe now move the playhead just before that point and add another keyframe then drag the second keyframe down This will reduce the volume of just that portion. Today I'll show you to remove unwanted sound in the middle of a clip. You will need four keyframes. Say I want to remove this part right here. I'll add two keyframes at the start of the sound. Then move to the end and add two more. Now I'll drag the second and third keyframes down, creating a dip in the waveform. 
That section will now play much quieter. It's super if you are not sure how keyframes work, check out my video how to add keyframes in shortcut. You can find link in the description. With keyframes, you can remove any unwanted sound in your audio clips. I hope you learned something new today. Check out more shortcut tutorials on my channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.